morning guys and gals welcome to another trucker rudy show this morning yeah i said yesterday on uh, my closing video that we were in park city oklahoma which is incorrect we were in park city uh, kansas not oklahoma i don't know why i was thinking oklahoma but uh some odd reason I was thinking Oklahoma, which was not the case. But hey, eh, that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes we make a mistake too, right? Yes, indeed. But here we go. We're making our way towards Madison Hat this morning. Oh, there goes a nice Corvette. Yeah, that looks nice. Looks like it's another beautiful morning out here this morning. Yeah, we only got 15 more hours left in the log book, so that has to last us for today and tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know how far that's going to get us. I might just decide to just... Uh, ooh, look at that nice sport car there. I was going to say, I might just decide to uh, drive till the end of today and then just do a reset. I might just do that. I'll have a look and see how far I can drive today. Yeah, I may have to drive tomorrow a little bit because uh, I'm looking at it right now and I got, uh, I got 1,400 miles to do yet, so... Uh, I don't know if I could make Madison Hat on Sunday if I drive if I don't drive tomorrow a little bit. So I might have to I might have to do a couple of hours tomorrow. Yeah, just to get uh, just to get to Madison Hat tomorrow uh, on Sunday at least. You know. So yeah, we might have to split our 15 hours in two. I guess. So we might only be driving for seven hours today or something like that maybe seven and a quarter depending on where that will get us depending where the truck stops are right that's usually the case so that's why i didn't even really get up too early because i knew that i didn't have that many more hours left in the law book so i knew we needed to take her easy and that's what we're going to do We'll see if we see anything interesting today. If we do, where it's worth flying our drone over, we'll give it a shot, right? That's the plan. See, that's where they got Big Park City on that uh, water tower up there. But yeah, let's make our way further north and see what kind of goodies we will be up to today, guys. We have been cruising for a good it's while a now, so I am going to pull over into this truck stop up here. And we're going to fuel up a little bit so that way we can be safe and secure to make it up to Minot before we need to fuel again. So, uh, And then we need to take our half an hour break, which, you know... I guess I really do need to take, so uh, we'll go ahead and do that, and then uh, continue on with our journey, I suppose, but uh, it has gotten really windy. The only good thing about it is, it's coming from behind me, so I'm actually able to ride with the wind at the moment. Uh, I think earlier it was coming from the... Uh, I believe it was the east or something like that so it was coming kind of a little bit across the road but right now it's coming straight south so uh straight from the south so so yeah i'm gonna go in here to this petro truck stop up here in york nebraska that's right even got truck wash over there tire lube all that good stuff yeah, let's go in here. I haven't been in here in a long time. It has been a good while since I've been in here. Yeah. Let's get our truck in here. 
have our half an hour break I guess well guys we had fueled up a little bit here in York Nebraska and we went and took us another shower yeah we feel good now oh my I'm telling you I'm feeling really good now Ooh, yeah I went and had me a shower and then I uh, faxed my paperwork and uh, went inside and had me a bite to eat. Oh my goodness. I should probably lay down now instead of driving. But yeah, we are very lucky today that we're going northbound because uh, the wind is coming from the south head north so the wind is actually pushing us today yeah for good fuel mileage that's right we'll be getting awesome fuel mileage today and that's what I like very much so so let's uh, see we already got us a reload offer we're supposed to pick up a load out of uh, Madison Hat and bring that to Steinbach. So we should be home uh, probably Monday afternoon sometime. Which in all reality that kind of sucks because uh, I've been wanting to try and get home for a weekend here for a change and that's not going to happen. Because I can't afford to stay home all those days. So, uh, what I might do is, uh, I'll have a, have a look and see how many hours I have. I might just say, uh, let's take a reset and just go for a short trip. So I'll be home for the weekend. I might just do that because I, uh, I've been working a lot of weekends lately and, uh, I know the family needs me at home too on the weekend and, and everything so I need to uh, try and figure something out so I can be home for the weekend coming up here so uh, I think what we're gonna do is uh, I'll probably just you know go home with this load do a quick reset and then just ask for a short trip and then to be home Friday night or something like that, you know? Because if I leave Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's still another three days. I could even say, you know, to be home Saturday by lunch or something like that. That could still get me a dried and load uh, going to Wisconsin and then back home or something like that, you know? That's still 1,600 miles or something like that. So, you know, that's something I might just do. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm probably probably just gonna go do that and then uh, be home for the weekend. I need a weekend off too. I've been working super super hard, so but yeah, here we go. Let's uh, make our way further north. As you guys might be able to see right there toward the right, there is a little bit of that white stuff. You guys know what that means? <laughs> We are now up in the colder uh, states again. Yes, we are. I'm actually up in uh, South Dakota right now. We have already gone completely through uh, Nebraska and all that stuff. And it feels like the wind has finally slowed down a little bit. It really does feel like that. And I got a hold of uh, our trainer there at Penners for the e-log and all that. And they're going to train me on Tuesday to uh, get my uh, pre-trip also in the uh, electronic log. And then uh, we're going to uh, probably throw the paper log out. Well, I won't throw it out completely, but uh, I won't be filling it out anymore. I'll be uh, on the electronic log. And then uh, I'll be letting that thing uh, do the whole spiel. Yeah. 
it's kind of what I'm planning on doing but right now we only got about 48 more miles to go and then we'll already be done for today I know right it's, it's like even a short video too right which doesn't necessarily have to be happening but really not that much interesting up here to show you guys it really ain't but that's how it goes oh well we'll make our way to our truck stop hopefully we can get parking in there should be there in about 45 minutes so let's uh, hammer down and make our way down there well guys we have made it to a truck stop here right where the uh, interstate 90 comes along in South Dakota I have a hard time pronouncing the name but uh, let's see if we can possibly see something out of the windshield yeah we're at the truck stop and uh, if you can see actually over there they have upgraded the uh, truck stop over here that yeah never used to be paved as far as I can remember and they made more parking spots over there as well and probably here in the gravel you could probably fit a bunch of trucks in here now so that's kind of nice to see these guys updating their uh, truck stops and making them better and all that good stuff I like that I appreciate that guys because now that is going to allow us to fit more trucks into here and a good portion of it is paved now that's nice I really enjoy that that's that's very much appreciated yeah that way we don't have to walk in mud and all that stuff when it rains and stuff right because summer is just around the corner yes it is but anyways we're finishing off our vlog today and we appreciate you guys watching we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on another show of the trucker rudy have a good one everybody <laughs>